Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing um, House of Ashes, the third installment in the Dark Pictures anthology series. Uh, over on my Twitch channel we have previously played the past games, so we have played Man of Medan and Little Ho. So today we are going to be starting the first installment, which the third, sorry, third installment, yeah the first part of the third installment which is House of Ashes. Um, streaming this over on my Twitch um, I also have sound alerts enabled so if any of those go off that, that's just your little warning. I may poop myself a little bit um, so yeah let's get into the game I am so excited to play this. So we are gonna be playing alone which I think makes everything ten times scarier. And we are going to be starting a new story. Forgiving, challenging, or lethal. Uh, this is the first time I've seen like a difficulty thing on it. So forgiving, survival is expected. Challenging, your skills will be tested. Or lethal death is inevitable. I think for our first playthrough and you know if you guys have seen my playthroughs of the previous games, um, Man of Medan we only had two of five characters survive and Little Hope. Uh, I think we had three? Did we have three characters survive? I believe so. I think we did slightly better a little hope. So for this first playthrough I think we should go with forgiving. So new slot. Um, play with controller press A. We are going to be playing keyboard and mouse. Okay for they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others lead to death. Choose wisely. I have learned in these games is do not relax even during the cutscenes. I need to stay alert at all times. Um, so that's, that's a card. 2231BC. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift us curse from our land. General Barato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. So I have no That's idea where you. Akala now, is. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. Where I'm getting like Egyptian -y kind of vibes, Middle Eastern. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Maybe Northern Africa. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Well, everything looks so good. The graphics on the this moon are insane. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. 
Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sent an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. It was Good. very, like, and what news ancient from below? Egypt. There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. By your command, or should we keep her alive? My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. I don't know why they Every want to kill us, so I don't want to go us in closer like... to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not good at the fast reaction things. Hey Brody, how are you? Welcome on in. Oh, we we chopped her head off. Yeah, I probably should have done a trigger warning before this. The Dark Anthology games contain a lot of gore, language, adult themes. It is a horror game, so. Your discretion is advised. Guy's pretty badass. It's like, I say the full moon, but I think it's the sun. <laughs> like an eclipse.
Some kind of monster's just been awakened. Gods give me strength. King is dead. These guys have both got bigger issues than each other. Forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. So things Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. We let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. I think I should trust you. Don't think you have much choice. <sighs> Kings brought down some kind of curse. I'm guessing the result of that curse is whatever was behind that door. Help me with this. <laughs> Hopefully the quick reaction things to just mouse buttons and not WASD, because I am better at the mouse. <laughs> there is a way out through the storm. Do? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Go. Just a rat. 
all this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Let's have a look. So, oh, a beacle. It's just a beacle. Okay, find the secret exit and search the catacombs. So we need to keep an eye out for the past of like little shiny things. Like over here. So we need to keep an eye out for these so I can have a look. Premonition. Okay. So yeah, in the past games you've had to keep an eye out for pictures. Obviously this is like ancient times so there's not going to be no pictures. So let's have a look. So we are controlling Balathu. So yeah, pictures we have this. So we can check the premonitions again. That's just someone climbing up something. Uh, we have all these secrets that we need to find and there's all these different bearings. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. Been a circle. <laughs> I don't know how far around I've been. Alright, so that's the thing that we've had on. This is a door. Here, help me with this. I think it's a door. safe down here. You first. Mm. He ain't trusting us. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Uh, we help each other. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. It's been we nice. There is always hope.
think there's anything down here. No, it doesn't look like it, right. Let's head on out then. Over here. scary ass hand. Oh. I wanna see this thing. It's coming! I know. I've got yet! There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword! We'll fight! Is oh. Ah! Oh, I love the intro song in these, but I swear oh, to God, if this gets me DMCA oh, on YouTube, oh, I'm gonna be fuming. Come on, where's the curator? Where is it? It's gonna come fly through this door. Damn it, Ash the Tuesday. Your survival depends on the choices you make. 
They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Probably not. Or be lost in the darkness. <laughs> Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. Oh, thank you. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of text. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand. I am not here to help you. We know. Although, I have been known to bend the rules. No, you normally just pop up every now and then and tell me how shit I've been, to be honest. <laughs> to descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or very stupid. Or extremely foolish. <laughs> Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Mm. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. I think he knows me too well by now. So, uh, Iraq, 2003. I did say kind of Middle Eastern part, so I was going to too far. Looking dude. I am Jason. Confident and intolerant. Colonel, good trip. Eric, rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, apologies for arriving. Apologies early. for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. I'm glad to have you on board. It'd be nice. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. Is this the girl that was Your... in... Uh, this is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Gold check. First lieutenant. Gold check. Wow. Is she a little hump group? as well? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel is commanding and abrasive. Nick, defensive and romantic. And could be our last time he was Madame Rachel. Badan. Well, After he was in Madame Badan. The checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. So some familiar faces in this one. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? She's married to Get the Colonel and she's up. cheating on him. Hey, 
Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Uh, I'll find a way. Baby, I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here, <laughs> chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> What about the U.S. The Marines that are doing here? The Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. So we need Everyone to move to the briefing room. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Let's keep an eye out for anything interesting. How is it looking on here? Do I need to drop the graphic settings a bit? Yeah, it looks fine for me, but it's looking a bit choppy. Let me just drop the graphics a tad. Because I want it to look good for you guys. Everything was on like high anyway so uh let's save that drop it down to medium see if that's any better you have only made choices with your heart where possible don't make me a good egg that looks better See you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, you'll be missing here. Would like to watch me get my sweat. You wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. There's Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. He was banging we your got wife. caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only side like that. Uh, let's be polite. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. We know Rachel each other. and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? 
The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Are they actually separated, though, or is she just saying that so she can bang the other guy? Inspect the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. Subject survey anyway? group objectives like to the director of central intelligence. Like to get down uh, the objectives of the survey group are as stated. Organize and direct intelligence uh, capabilities me. across coalition, government agencies, and armed forces, US, UK, and all. Apply intelligent expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals for. Rude. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have called. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders. I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. So she ain't queen bitch I'm no sorry, more. Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Stock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I was reading that. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? I'm still not too sure what the army are doing here. Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raise so the facility is still based and around the any Iraq weapons wall. on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. So they think they found it's some chemical like weapons, but really what they're gonna have no found mistake. is like these old tombs, I bet them. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, 
I passed out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, could have been your puppy. All right, that's enough, Merwin. Super Sir? Joe. What's your call? Uh. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Could rub down, we'll sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric. We need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Let's go sign up. Rach. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just He's want still things to go back to where they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. Oh, he's still into a... Uh... You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. He still was his running ring. All right, can I read my letter again now? Got something here. Yeah, this is what we were reading, I think. No, it isn't, but... Uh, urgent results needed to act in CRH looking confidential with the survey yeah, group recommend operational yeah. states imperative to stress the need for mission success. Military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged in threat to the international community from Iraqi to RMD. Not justify the invasion of the international law. National hostilities. The uh, survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to your report. There's nothing on the back of that. Uh, we can look at this. So these are his 
Oh, so they like mean nothing to me, but. And we got a map over here. A map of Iraq, I'm presuming. Expected to be placed under Iraqi control in 2007, so they're potentially gaining new territory. Under provisional Iraqi control. Uh, US command, Polish command, and UK command. Okay. This is what I was reading earlier. Organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government. Uh, <coughs> oh, nothing particularly interesting. Uh, I can talk to this guy. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. I hate this guy. You're my technician? So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. I'm sure I'll manage, Colonel. Okay, so I don't like him. Okay, I don't gear. like him. Fucking pencil pusher. Uh, all things around here. Uh, confidential Iraq survey group. Bandit activity in the Soren district. Report disappearance to aid workers. Named as Yves, Pogam, and Marie Vignier. Failed to make contact two weeks ago. Aid workers presumed robbed and killed. So, so people have gone missing. A newspaper. Mission accomplished. President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. Manny Sherman executed, killer on cooperative during final hours. Okay. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. He's obviously not going to like him, is he? Stubborn and courageous. They're going pumpkins. It's very Halloween of them. Nice. 
Zane. And a gate. Then. Okay, for some chocolates. Find Zane. Search Zane's room. Why do I feel like the be dead. Happy birthday, Please. Zane. My boy is becoming a Go man, but always dad. Oh, so these are for his son. Oh, this is going to be even worse if the kid's dead. This we got here. Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Offman, March 3rd. The board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology in academic year 2003 4. Which commences on September 2nd, 2003. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfil the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. Completion of college studies to have rejected AAB standard and obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the UK. I assure that the faculty will assist and support your visa application in every way. We've helped talented young individuals from walks of life. We look forward to turning back you. So his son has been offered a place at a university in the UK. Obviously he's going to have to get a visa and everything because he's Iraqi. Broken photo. But the, I'm assuming that's the mum that's been folded over. So where's she? I'm gonna have a look at what it said about the bearings. So we have air support. Eric agreed to bring close air support on the mission. Okay. Uh, until death, Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. And the Ancient One, Balathu, was the last to die in the temple catacombs. And secrets, we just have this so far, which is a file that reports that aid workers have gone missing near the Iranian border. room type thing. Is there anything in here? Oh. And I'm guessing that's the sun's room so we'll have a look in here first. Good where we find is it? Oh, 
Oh, this is a little muff of the UK. So yeah, they said he was studying mythology. So yeah, he circled like the Loch Ness Monster. It's like places that he's interested in. Yeah, this looks like Stonehenge. That's cute. I might be doing some like investigating all this in the UK. Let's look at this. Me is a part of main mythology. So he is like super into this. I don't think there's anything else I can look at in here other than this. Okay, what's this all about? Has it been stealing? I don't know. Yeah, but they look like expensive watches. Hello. Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim. Salim Darkum. Abu Zain. I forgot. Who was Zain? Ma, ma. Who was Zain? My abnik. Sorry. I was far. Who was my bab? Just found some stolen goods. Yeah. Um. لا لا. كله تمام. أصلاً كان عيد ميلاده وأنا جبت له هدية. آه. لما يرجع ابعته لي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجي مش عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحتي طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي اوه كابتن بصري اهلا يا مولاي لازم تحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو؟ يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش اتسلم العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه احسن well دايركتور وسط عندنا تمام يا فندم I don't know a great deal about the war so خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة All the Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, now I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. Do you two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey! Only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? 
and that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn right. Oh. Hey, what the fuck y'all laughing at? This guy's gross. I hate Sergeant him. Sergeant Candy, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Uh, you know that? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. I got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 Alright, so these are the Iraqi soldiers, and do they think that the Americans are American, the American go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna psy out this shit. I don't know what's happening. I thought we were gonna go fight scaries. Ehna al American. Ehna al Jish al Americani. Bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LT and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? 
Well, we'll find it. We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the birds. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. So they think they've got some kind of secret hideout here, but then they think that it's just shepherds. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh yeah? So is that this, uh, woman's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلاح uh... Any orders ma'am Stand by I've got this هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. What is that? I Ominous. What the fuck? You can here. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. So we gotta search the farm. So let's have a look where it says about. Nothing here on the bearings, but the secrets, the pagan effigy, the sharp barb hidden inside it. Which way shall we go? Well, it looks like it goes back outside, so... Tell me where the silo is. The man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. What am I? Do that again. And I'll tear you up into pieces and feed you to the fucking jackals. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. I didn't know if I was to shoot him or to hit him, so I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to shoot him. that again. Rachel turning a gun on Jason. 
that don't make much sense. They've got loads of these effigy things hanging around. Whistling because that is really annoying. I swear, Murrin's brought some bad juju down on us. I don't believe in curses, the Tooth Fairy, or Santa Claus. The Tooth Fairy, yeah. Santa? Say it ain't so. You two hey, fucked Ing. up Christmas, man. How are you? Welcome on in. There were some people in the other hut. Let's talk to Nick. There's shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, good. Good, good. I am doing really well, thank you. Can I talk to you? No. Uh, so, do we go in here? Gas masks. We got some gas masks here. A secret of that one. Gas masks really freak me out. Ever since that one episode of Doctor Who, that was like the was like the lost child or something, the kid that walked around with the gas mask on, going like, "Are you my mummy?" That gave me proper bad nightmares as a kid. I think that's the only thing that was like genuinely scared me. Got something. That's heroin. <laughs> Just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. So they think there's like chemical weapons. Oh. Don't make me shoot because I uh, I am Get not an FPS player. We're up on the ridge. Return fire. Go. Oh no. I'm not a shooty shooty game player. That 
That was fucking close. Woo! Oh, fucking rush, huh? Rachel! Where are you? Rachel! Back! Stay back! Assemble! 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 Closing my ults are pretty much how I feel. I thought I was playing a horror fuck game, you, not a fuck shooter. Yeah, fuck you too. Let's burn fuckers out with WP! You can't use phosphorus against people! Oh, come on, you rather us hold hands and say kumbaya around the fucking campfire? Shut the fuck up for a second and let me think. What's you think about, huh? We're getting massacred. Permission to use WB. No, it's a good one. Only use it for smoke. I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Pretty cool maneuver, I'll give him that. I'm fucking dying, Nick! Bullshit! Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. Well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. Bye. Uh, graphics are pretty solid in this game. Yeah, this game looks really good. God damn it! All call signs. This is drop kick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Drop kick. This is Killjoy Two. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. This getting worse. Probably will get worse. Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. No more killing. Oh, I play. Feet underground.
Regroup of allied forces and find Jason. Let's have a nosy round. Press Q to toggle your flashlight on and off. I think I'm going to be keeping this on all the time. You really think I'm turning Jason! this off? Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming! I didn't like that. I don't like Wendy goes. I mean, these are, I think this is by the same people that did until dawn with the Wendy goes. Wendigos are like indigenous American things out there and we're in Iraq. Fuck is this place? That's something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad, and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant K, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. I'm fine. All good. Just wasn't expecting to suddenly fall into the fucking earth. I hear you. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? Guys, flunked history at school. You got something down here. Bones. Shit. The fuck happened to your teeth, buddy? People bones. Uh, secret found. Let's have a look at that then. 
Oh, that was the gas mask. A vintage gas mask splattered with black stains. And the front teeth of this skull have been forced out from within. Okay. And the sympathy. Salim saw Jason kill the shepherd. And Salim chose not to shoot Jason. But I have literally got Jason killed that early. Knowing this game, probably. Like in Man of Medan when you can kill what Conrad day? before you even get the wood exactly. wrecking boat. I'll know some. I don't feel shit. You sure about that? Keep looking. What we got up here? There's another picture. That looks like someone getting dragged into some scary ass cave thing. I think that was Salim in that premonition. Okay, so I guess I'm trying that door then. Oh, this thing is heavier than it looks. Give me a hand. I'm gonna need some more muscle. He's giving Jim again. Merle. We don't care about Merlin. Jesus, I'm trying! Will you stop squirming around? It's bad. It's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Well, one too many yo mama do jokes was to you. What's he got stuck on there? She got yeared. Maurice? Take 
He's not one of the main characters though, so it's fine. We're not bothered about him dying. أنا الملازم سليم عثمان بكل الجنود أنتوا فين؟ حول طبيب أنت عندنا شيء هون كابتن داخ هذا تسمعني؟ عندي رسالة حول كابتن زفت تسمعني أنا مش عارف في 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 كهف بحاول أخرج حول أخس I'm gonna have to be a marble. Plans to be a long bath. Listen to a little radio. لا دق على باب انا لا ده مكان جايين ده مكان جايين بص احنا فين دلوقتي والله ما انا عارف انا فين في حد موجود هنا في حد هناك حد سمعني Yeah, I don't think these are military tunnels, mate. Uh, I want to know what the weird ass creatures are. person I don't think that's anyone in particular but it looks 
looks like they've been dragged. Oh, the guy. Oh, another picture. We're doing well with the pictures. So that was something grabbing someone. <laughs> I don't know what these things are, like do they have do they have a name? Say they remind me of the Wendigos from Till Dawn. Oh So is that our gun and our flashlight gun? Great. We have a lighter. Hello. See, we're going this way. Can you have me shoot there? I have a door over here. We literally can't see anything else, so. Just shut the door and then run. Go, 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 go! They're not going in the sunlight. Oh. 
whole damn place is about to come down. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Cold check? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. That could be another way out. I don't know. I got your back. You know I've got your back, Rage. Stay close, you'll be fine. I'm pretty good at looking after myself, Eric. It would seem so. <clears throat> Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Last is steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? The lighter. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. Okay. We got lights. I guess we can classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. I was definitely just expecting stuff to jump out at me. At this all times. Time you mean the sense of feeling lost? This is longer than I expected it to be. But we got a picture. That's why we do this. That would be grim. This mean anything to anyone? It looks old. Old? It's ancient. Maybe that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? Concluded that it is old. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. Why 
I gonna... Why can't I not look around? There we go. Oh, that's when I came in. Going. I'm just pointing a gun at the back of my wife's head. Seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> she got some good survival skills. I would not have a clue. Got a certain cool under pressure. Uh, after you left, I learned to deal with pressure. What have we got here? Some more ancient writing. What do you think this place is? It's hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. Oh, we got something in here. A little statue. <laughs> Secret found. Pazuzu. Pazuzu. Pazuzu who? <laughs> Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Something to do with plagues, I think. So plagues did the ancient king Indian accidentally Indian summon Pazuzu? Great. Let's have a look at the secrets. Ancient idol depicting a Sumerian demon god, Pazuzu. Examine. Examine the hole in the ground. It do be a long way down. What is it? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Pazuzu's minions. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? We should move. Can you make anything out? That's, that's 
deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Hit the rope. We're going down. Going down. We are now at 144 feet deep. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. Uh, sorry? Sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I've messed up. Should have triple checked the data. Exhausted every possibility. But I'm so sure this was it. I understand what it meant to you, Eric. I'm so sorry. We both made mistakes. We both made mistakes. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? The monsters. Come to get us. This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> nope. It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Find some gasoline. Wherever you are, Nick. I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? No. Nothing. Fuck. That's a hell of a lot of fireworks. Dynamite. All call signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. Some stuff this is over King's here. All call signs. Are you receiving? Over. Old like camera stuff. I'm beginning to think that even the Iraqis don't know about this place. Fourteenth of October, nineteen forty-six. Can't say I blame them. Randolph, I trust this finds you well. Our journey to the dig has been delayed. We left some heavy equipment behind in Sauron, because Poland could only hire half the men and mules needed. Workers refuse to go into the mountains. They are superstitious and cry that they will be possessed by demons. They even refuse bonus pay of two diners each. We've also left the second generator and the spare radio behind with the agent. We should be with you by the 18th. Yours faithfully, Elaine Juno. We need to get these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit. Do you think Stencom is aware of our situation? 
I'm hoping the pilots got word back. Any of them survived, that is. Why would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up. Hmm. This one would uh, archaeologists rig up some ancient ruins with a shit ton of explosives. See how quickly the store has been blocked off? There's something desperate about it. I wonder who they were trying to keep out. Or what they were trying to keep out. What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. The muscle through. Curse of Akkad, Eileen Geno. Scholars regard the Curse of Akkad as a fiction, an instructional story that trained the Sumerians to endure a famine, fate, and whims of the gods. However, the discovery of this great temple hints at a new truth behind it. In the original tale, the god Enil, en Enlil turns against King Naramsin of Akkad. At first, the king is pierced and penitent, praying for answers, but after seven years, the gods have given none. So Naram Sin decides to bring them to account. He raises an army and marches to the city of Nippur to sack Enlil's temple. The blasphemy is so great that Enlil, the roaring storm, enlists the gods against Narim Sin, sending the Gwitan, Gwishans, Gwitans to raise Akkad to the ground, destroy its farms and curse the people with famine. This temple, it was built to appease the gods. There is no historical record of Naram Sin demolishing the temple to Enlil. However, our finds here suggest the curse was based on actual events. King Naram Sin built this place to honour the gods. Many of our finds depict the king pleading to heaven to invite the gods back into the spiritual life of his people. The fact that this temple was lost suggests the curse could not be broken. Ooh, I think climbing me. out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. The way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. Never know when you're going to need some duct tape. I'll take that, thank you. So long. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. Some gasoline. About time we had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Lake? Oh, you mean the prosthesis? I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on your rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. Shine a light on the tank. Ah, oh, shit. We got a leak. What's wrong? Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. I got tape. It fixes everything. Bride and Patrick. I've got it. Am 
Once you said back at the base, you were wrong. It doesn't sound like me. You said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? I don't know what to say. Do we just not say anything? Okay, well, this is a little awkward. Hold the fuel pipe. I don't want to... It's done. Give him false hope. But then I also don't want to be cruel to him. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. Look at the state of these. They're shot. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? I tried. But you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis and I was blind to anything else. Work is bigger than us. Your work is bigger than the both of us. Like, I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seem confused, but now, it just seems simpler. Maybe there's hope for us after all. That should do the trick. Let's fire up. I don't know what to say to these two. There's a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. I'm back with the spookies. Fuck.
too. Let's go. Investigate the tape recorder. Investigate this first. What are you? That was a secret. Uh, so, the curse of Akkad. These notes reveal that the Akkadian king Namran Sin built the temple to lift a curse on his land. And. Let us suggest that the diggers who excavated this site were spooked by rumours of demonic possession in the area. And bundle of dynamite with the detonators discreetly removed. Somebody sabotaged the charges that the archaeologists planted around the temple. Oh, so that's, that was the... Um, the detonator. That's what that was. Check this out. Why would there be a machine gun here? It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. I mean, if it still works, it's always under the What the around. fuck happened here? Shots were fired. what we've already seen yeah oh we're not being any yet let's have a look The Journal of Randolph Hodgson. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site. A gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. <laughs> Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. So that's why they, they were here, to try and find the burial place of Alexander the Great. To these guys. Hodgson Expedition, October 
So what is it I'm going to be doing? Looking at a tape thing. Can't remember where that was. Is it down here? I think so. I'm guessing it's always he's still there. Of a nosy at this, then. Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? Shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. So, when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. Cute. You were always a good guy. Maybe too good for you. Have you forgotten what this ring means to me? I want you back, Rachel. I don't know what to do, do I tell him? Gotta tell him. You need to look at There's someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. I'm sorry, set Eric. Foot on an uncharted shore and rouse something ancient and wicked. Blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I am sorry. Got bigger problems than that you need to know. Cover me. The hell is going on? I don't know, man. It was not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire to the over. That's right, Joe. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. Say again, over. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. How copy over? Damn. Something simple this goddamn place? Serious, that looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming.
your range. I've got you. doing it I'm not doing it Not seen her die, so I'm not saying that she's dead. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. What of Jason and Nick, brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark. And yeah, the but we didn't care about him. He's still young. Which brings us to Thalie. He seems level-headed. An almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. Unless you can find the means to save There's them. There's five candles on that thing, so they meant to represent each of the characters. If so, it's not the my place to alive. concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. Yeah, tell me. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, and out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Rachel! Where's Rachel? Where is she? She down there. Rachel! What happened to Rachel? 
we were ambushed by the enemy. They opened fire on us. <laughs> Bridge. She fell. I held on. I held on as long as I could. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. Should be fine. We need to fall back. Now. Over there. Let's go! Look at that. Slow down. You can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Ivorakis are the least of our problems. They're not following. Mailman to one actual to all call signs. How copy over? Joey, report in over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqi store right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh no, not Joey. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? Our monsters are gonna you get you. In God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by. I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in out there. Monsters. Monsters? Monsters. Come on, you're jumping at shatter sure. with all due respect. Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. Mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Understood, sir. We should move on. Stay and guard the entrance. Go check it out. The generator. Do we have any more bearings? Rachel told Eric that there was someone else now, and Rachel fell on the rope snap. Uh, journal entry reveals that Lady Bradshaw hired Randolph and Mary Hodgson to find the lost tomb of Alexander the Great. Uh, is that it? Oh, this as well. A photo of the archaeologists who first explored the temple in 1946. It is titled The Hodgson Expedition. Just some big old feet. So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Right. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. Nick's always gonna hate Eric though, isn't he?
Where's the generator? Let's go take a look. Don't look great, does it? Need a hand here. I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Fucking around, the hurry enemy up. Iraqi guy is it? Screw it. Look like I'm fucking around. Good job, Sergeant. Stay alert. Drop kick, this is mailman two one actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. Be careful in there. Drop kick down. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. Oh, what's in here? What do you think? Floors? Yeah, I'll go with that. Pretty sure explorers didn't dig that, though. I think we both know we're dead. Gods of Su Summer by Frank Levitt. This way. Trip wire. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a trip wire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. But you want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. He's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. We got here, April 2nd, 1946, we have assembled our team, top of my list was something crow, the bulldog of Omaha Beach, we found him in Cairo brawling for money in a Le Levantine drinking club, crow recommended and in high for repute of my assistant, the always inquisitive Aline Juno insisted on the presence of her own advisor, Ellis Van Houten. An archaeologist I only know from our team complete, we shall head to Lebanon from there by train to
what we got here. Starmop. A fifty nine. And something in here. Waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? She alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. Joey, the guy with glasses. So you know for sure. Trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Samper Fi. Samper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Good. I'll lead the way. Uh, no, it? I'll take the lead. Not without me, you don't. Probably gonna wrap things up for the stream very shortly. Oh, I forgot we had a freaking lighter. A wallet? I'm meant to be able to find something on this. Dar? His wallet? It's that sleeve, isn't it? Is it gonna be is this sun gonna be down here or something? I've been streaming for like three hours, so I'm gonna wrap things up very soon. I feel like this is not a good idea. Oh. 
I mean, that made it freaking move, didn't it? Ultraviolet. Salim discovered the creature's sensitivity to sunlight. Oh. Journey entry details the archaeologist's discovery of the temple. A clay tablet bearing some form of arrangement of stars. There's a catalogue label posted to it. We'll go, we'll go a little bit further. Let's get, let's get us lighter out. Turn the mouse sensitivity up as well. Because I think that's what I struggled with then, trying to shoot the thing. People on. Oh, oh, no. Who's going to be putting the champs? Best if you had the light on him. Check your corners. You still here, Joey? Oh, 
Okay, Joey, stay alert for danger. Mailman two one actual Joey. Do right, you hear I'm gonna leave it there you know. then. I'm just gonna check this other. A holded stone depicting people praying to something in the sky. Yeah, I'm gonna leave things there. It's ten o'clock, and that I should be going to bed very soon. So I am gonna wrap things up there for this part of the game. So return to the main menu. It's all a little bit creepy so far. So let me just quit and flick back over here. So let's find someone to do a raid.